What's up everybody, my name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Ballistics and it's the best day of the week, my favorite day of the week, Full Auto Friday. And today we have a washer. Now just shooting a washer is kind of boring. So I brought a generator out here, lots of water. We're gonna get this thing running with some water in it and clothes, and then we're gonna blast it with our Full Auto AK. Before we get started, I wanna say thank you to my Patreon supporters. If it wasn't for you, videos like this would not be possible. I don't normally push my Patreon very much, but I'm gonna get real with you guys for just a second. Last week, YouTube hit us pretty hard. They pretty much cut me off at the knee and it was a pretty worrisome two days. Praise God it got fixed. I don't want to go into too many details, but it, it wasn't good. But we're back to normal. But for that moment, I was very uncomfortable and it made me really thankful for the Patreon supporters that I have. Unfortunately, I kind of suck at Patreon. I'm sorry to all my patrons when I'm really slow answering your messages and things like that, but I'm a one man show when it comes to running all these platforms. So I kind of get backed up sometimes. If you guys enjoy this channel, you enjoy this content, you enjoy Full Auto Fridays, become a patron. It helps me a lot. And if even 1% of you became a $1 patron and got put in the end credits, well, we wouldn't have to worry about anything YouTube does. That being said, let's get started. So first, I'm gonna need to put some clothes in this thing and a little bit of water. All right. First, let's throw some clothes in here. Uh, some old jeans, t-shirts, some old flannel. All right, that looks good. Now let's get some water. I really hope I brought enough water I'm hoping that 20 gallons will do it. If not, we're kind of out of luck. First five gallons here. Oh, oh man, is that pouring out? Tell you what, I'm gonna turn it on first. Okay, let's see here. Let's go with normal, extra heavy, I guess a small load, cold. I don't know if five gallons is going to do it. I mean 20. I don't know if 20 gallons is going to do it. We'll see. I don't know where that water's going. It's seeping up this hose. There we go. So now we shouldn't be losing any water. We're actually holding water now. The drain hose is on the ground, so the water was just pouring out the back when I was dumping it in. So let's keep going. I've got 10 more gallons. Five more gallons. That looks good. So we got clothes and we've got quite a bit of water in there. Let's see if we can get this thing going. All right, let's see. Come on. Come on, start. A few moments later. Oh, snap. Let's try that again. Six hours later. Oh, snap. Oh, it's on final spin. That's what's wrong with it. Still on final spin. One eternity later. This is really confusing. I think I've had enough. I think I'm just going to start shooting it. Kind of stinks because I really wanted this thing spinning, but I'm not waiting anymore. Huh? 
I think you'll start working now. Let's see. Oh, we're losing water. It's still on. It's still not doing anything, so uh, I'm going to hit it again. Yeah, I think it's done. <laughs> I'm going to turn off the generator. I'm just so upset that this thing did not work the way I wanted it to work. It's getting one more mag. <laughs> All right, well, I'd say our clothes are probably done. So we put a lot of holes in this washer, which is good. It gives it more air and helps it to drain faster. A few holes on top here. These are good too because you can look down inside your washer and see your clothes washing even though the lid is locked. We have a hole right here in the control area. That's not really a good thing. So let's open this up, which our lid lock is still locked. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, those look great. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at that. That thing got smacked a few times. Look at this, this is just crazy. You can see all the way through that washer. Oh my goodness. Well, let's see how our clothes turned out. The flannel, oh my goodness. Yeah. I mean, like, aren't ripped jeans and stuff like that? That's the fad. So how about chewed up flannel? That's, I mean, that's a fashion statement. That's nice. Let's, okay, let's see what else we got. Throw these over here. here oh yeah that's nice I I mean that's 20 bucks extra if you ask me yep and this one here this is like an Under Armour kind of type shirt and yeah just a few in that shirt nope now that's stuck in there mmm What else? This. Mm. Oh. Actually, you know, I probably really could sell these. I mean, this is this is fashion at its best. Here's a look at the inside after I've taken all the clothes out. And you can see we uh we chewed up the inside of this washer pretty good. Oh. There's a bullet. There's a bunch of bullet fragments in here. Man. Really wish it would have been spinning more. Okay, we got the clothes washed. I think they turned out really good, except they're still soaking wet. So you'll have to tune in next Full Auto Friday and see these clothes get dried in my fully automatic dryer. Well, it's really unfortunate that I couldn't get the washer working the way I wanted it to, but I still had a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed it. Again, a big thank you to my patrons for making today's video possible. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure and give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. And while you're at it, share today's video with a friend. I already mentioned it, but check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.